I do a ton of custom content editor training where site editors are seeing their site sometimes for the very first time, or at least learning about how to edit it for the very first time. I get a lot of questions. And so one of the things I love to do is to make the content editing experience in Drupal the best it can be. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And this week, I want to share with you a really awesome module called Save and Edit. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, doesn't Drupal do that? Well, actually, no, it doesn't. When you click the Save button, it takes you back out to the content menu or wherever you were if you click the Edit button on a node itself. Other content management systems have done this for years. And so some enterprising Drupal developers created the Save and Edit module. Let's take a look. I'm over here at drupal.org slash project slash save underscore edit. And it does exactly what it sounds like. It adds a save and edit button to your Drupal content. This is fantastic. It means I can make incremental saves without having to go out and back in. And it works really, really well. I've installed it over here on my personal blog. And there it is, save and edit. I'm going to click on configure. It's going to take me over to admin, config, save, edit, settings. And all I have to do is literally just create the settings I want. I can even change the label on the button. I can unpublish nodes when I click save and edit. I can auto unpublish on new nodes only. Hide the default save button. Hide the publish button. Hide the preview button. And hide the default delete button. And of course, I can select which node types I want this particular module to work with. All right, let's go take a quick peek. Now go to content, add content and blog. And I'm using the Jin theme, as you can probably tell. It works with Claro just as well. And look at that. There's the save and edit button right there. So if I'm creating a new blog and I want to quickly click save as soon as I do that, well, there it is. The blog has been automatically saved. Now, one of those settings actually could be pretty helpful if you wanted to not publish the node by default. Now, when I click Save, of course, it takes me back out to the blog page. So like a ridiculously simple addition to your Drupal website, but giving your content editors even more flexibility. I love Drupal for this because Having these kinds of contributed modules allows me to really make the editorial experience the best it can be. But because they're contributed modules, we don't have to install it if that's not something they need. You gotta love Drupal. Well, thanks for watching today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. See you next time. Please like, subscribe. It helps us out. Thanks much.